Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Kingdom of David with the crazy gay man, Tenjin the Second. Kingdom of gay Jews. Okay, so we're gonna try to make everyone gay. We're trying to seduce all the people. As soon as we're done with this war, darn it. Um, we can't have any fun until we're out of this war, because we keep on getting distracted. Um, I'm getting pop-ups saying, must, must surely be a better time or something like that, I'm not sure. Anyway, we created our Republic, which is great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and attach these fellas here with the V key. We're gonna pull the retinue up to that way. We're gonna disband these boats. And uh, these fellas... Let's see. Tell you what, let's bring the boats over this way instead. So yeah, as, as per normal, there's a lot of people commenting about how the, the cultural retinue is very weak, light infantry are very bad, and there was even a... Peop I think somebody had linked something about how there was a guy who like put together all the math on retinues in the game and basically said like if you if, if your cultural retinue has infantry in it just never build it. But let me just really briefly explain again why I don't care <laughs> and I still feel like this is the optimal playstyle. Yes, they're weak, but when you look at your succession, the biggest issue you usually end up with with succession is not can you win the next war, it's can you keep the realm together. And this 4.7% of liege number is taking a look at the size of my army, this number here. It's the raw relationship between size that they consider. They don't consider troop quality at all. So 5,600 extra troops is a big factor in dissuading the enemy, uh, the, the factions from actually firing. So I, I don't care about anything other than realm stability in this case. Um, it just makes it so much easier when they won't rebel because they... They are intimidated by my, you know, fearsome light infantry. Also, when it comes to sieges, not assaults, but sieges, sieges are strictly dependent upon your size levy versus the garrison. Troop quality makes no factor at all. So, again, same thing. I can get way more bodies with the light infantry retinue than I can with any other retinue. So, that's two major factors for me. Third factor, it's way, way cheaper, right? Look at the cost. This thing cost me 0 0.07 ducats per month for... 280 retinue cap. Okay, let's find another one here. For 280 retinue cap, that's 560. So I could have two of these for like one of these. Okay, it costs about the same in this case. So I guess maybe that's a bad example. If you had two of these, eh, perhaps, yeah, perhaps that's a bad argument. But they're cheaper to hire. Of course, you'd have to hire two of them. Whatever. I guess the third factor is not really a consideration. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Anyway, we have 11 more score so far. Mr. Uh, this Mr. Jihad man is going to pay us some, some piety and... Mm, some stuff. Looks like, uh... <laughs> King Girma, the gentle. I want to see how gentle he is. Ooh, he looks so gentle. Uh, he's, he's like, winning the war for us right now. He's just, like, going and murdering the, uh... The Jihad peoples. We have nothing nearby to siege. Like, I'm not gonna go over there. I'm actually strongly considering just declaring my own offensive war right now. Since, while you are the defender in a holy war, or, uh... Jihad in this case. Again, we have this defending versus infidels modifier, and because it's a defensive war, we don't get any penalties for vassal levies raised too long. This is still here, but it's ticking down. Um, and as long as we are in a defensive war, it will offset the uh, the vassal levies raised too long penalty, even if you have them raised for other things too. So this is a great opportunity to like go on offensive wars without building up uh, the vassal, levy vassal levies raised too long penalty. So, like, for instance, we could declare a holy war for something, you know, like, take some land off some people. We could go focus on the east and try to get more of the Silk Road. Right now, we've expanded up into here. Um, I would like to get over to there, but this guy, I think we just warred him. I think you have a... we have a truce with you, do we not? Yes, we do. Okay, can we go further up the Silk Road into here? We sure can. Oh, and we can take a huge amount of territory. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna raise the boats. I want to confirm that I'm not crazy and that that is how that works right now. That's how- that's my memory and I'm, I'm going by experience and memory quite often. So... Let's- let's- let's mark these numbers here. Vassal levies raised too long. 13, 13, 13. Obviously it's gonna tick down while we're at peace. Um, but let's go ahead and declare this war. And let's wait and see if these numbers go up or down. So 13s. Just remember 13. Lucky number 13.
Unfortunately, that army's gonna have to get recruited there. We can recruit you up here. This army down here. It's too large for the boats that it has, unfortunately. 27 boats is very nice. That's because of the new newfound Merchant Republic. Again, we don't have enough boats for all of this stuff. Some places we do. These guys over to here, you guys come over there. It seems like a lot of micro, but it is going to be worthwhile, I think. It help us to get this all done a lot quicker. As far as, like, actual in-game time. It would be really cool if there was a button to just, like, raise your army onto boats. That would make too much sense. Okay. See how we're looking. 13. Should We should know within about two months, three months at most. Okay, those boats are full. No point in letting them stay here. Let's just send them over to the east now. We can't hold any more than just the 2,600 troops. We need to bring more boats over to pick the rest of the guys up. My retinue is kicking this army's butt now. We are on the left, I would hope. Yes. I was going to say, we, we better not have been the one that lost all, them, all those men. Okay, got some sort of a revolt. These boats don't need to be here. It's called somebody in. Was that this war? Hey, look at that! Holy War for Molten. That's right, you are Sunni, so he's pulled in some people. Interesting. Yeah, let's fight all of the, the Sunnis. Why not? Not scared? Are you scared? We're gonna want to pick up our retinue. grab some leaders for this army. We'll put ourselves up there because we're a manly man. Manly, big man, brave man, man. Where's uh, where's my friend? My friend the homosexual. Oh, did I unappoint him? Ah, oh, no, here he is. Iskander's, I already got him, okay. And uh, let's bring the attractive uh, Hill, 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 put him in the center. He's not very attractive, but you know, I, I just think it's fun. He is. We'll just pretend like he's attractive. All right, are you a heretic? Of course he is not. He's not. Stop, stop pretending like he's a heretic, Mr. Man. All right, 13s. Hey, a couple of them did go up. Okay, so my memory could be mistaken then. You know what, mistakes happen. I don't care, we're still going to war. About that time, eh? Oh yes, yes it is. I don't want to become slothful. 70% chance to become diligent. That sounds much better. Nice. We're now diligent. We will... we will... <laughs> Everything that happens in this game makes me want to say, uh, like, gay in innuendo stuff, because it's funny. <laughs> we'll be now more diligent in the bedroom. <laughs> Just add the words in the bedroom to every trait. We are... Huh, patient in the bedroom. We are lustful in the bedroom. We are ambitious in the bedroom. Or brawny in the bedroom. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. But it is! Yay! Alright, so 60 some of the troops. Uh, let's bring... I need 6,400 of the guys. Eh. Guess we have to bring one of the retinue here. There we go. Alright, boats deploy. Again, it's a lot of micro, but it is speeding things up tremendously right now. Ah, 
Now, if you actually, like, were to compare, how quickly could I have raised these troops up? Alright, so they actually are arriving a little bit here. Port to call. He's, he's, he's come a long way, hasn't he? Out of supplies for 232 days. That's a, that's a shame. It's a shame that he's suffering so much attrition. I don't even think we really need to worry about it. He'll, they'll probably honestly suffer more due to attrition and, like, being out of supply than we could potentially lose. Like, they'll not only do they have to take, like, half year to a year for each siege, but he's suffering 2.4% uh, attrition right now. And now 2.5, and this army eventually is going to be bigger than that army just due to attrition. And our little vassal guys are going to take care of it for us. We're suffering attrition because our army's too large. Right, I've declared a holy war for the duchy of this this thing. So we should probably go and siege that, yeah? It's currently being occupied by some guy here who is in his own war. He is attacking in the holy war for Molten. Holy War from a... So he's actually going for the same location. We should try to sneak whatever we can off of this, but... Uh, I'm getting the impression we're not going to get much out of this war. We'll disband the boats for now. And eventually we're going to re-raise them and just take the entire collected forces to go smash whatever we find down there. And in the meantime, I think we just focus on the, on the offense. Abaye approaches you. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument. Something to raise our cultural status. That's a lot of money, dude. Um, usually... No, no. A lot of times they end up doing something that they shouldn't. Like, they, they make it a big, huge statue of themselves. Which would be glorious and probably look quite attractive to my gay eyes. But, um, that's 500 gold. I don't want to spend on that. Okay, this Duchy of Molten, then. I want to have an army on every possible province that isn't currently being sieged. Failed Sally by Defender. So, yeah, I turned on those event pop-ups because I wanted to know about prisoners again. Which reminds me, do we have prisoners? We do. Here's one available. Ten gold. Yep. It's a long, arduous process here. Ransoming all the prisoners. Thank God for keyboard shortcuts, right? Okay. You will arrive on the first. March the first. Let's see if we can scare him off. Hey, see, that's that's what I'm looking for. The, these pop-ups here where suddenly you get a whole bunch of prisoners. Unfortunately, that is tied. My god, look at all the women. Unfortunately, that is tied to the same one that does the, uh, the notifications about, um, like, sieges and other crap. Like, the, the defenders have sallied or whatever. So if you want one, you get both. You're already in Sibi on the March the 8th. You are not intimidated by my army, apparently. How about now? Now he's now he's intimidated. Okay, good. And this army is still coming in on the first, and we are not going to be able to get gone until after that. If we can grab the Hillel advisor guy and get out by an extra day, that's not going to stop him. He's still coming. We need you to arrive sooner. The sooner you arrive, the sooner he may recalculate and decide against it. Nope, he's going for it. Okay. Meanwhile, there's a Jihad or something. 18,000 troops over there, but we have 28 war score. I'm not worried about it. We'll be fine. Let's win our offensive war first. The battle is not going very well right now. Okay, we've sieged down both holdings here. There's a neutral holding there, which makes it look like this province isn't fully occupied, but it actually is already. This battle goes poorly. But we've managed to turn them back by reinforcing. He is heading to Sibi again. Arrives on the 18th.
we're gone. Ah, we're gone before that, so. No concerns then. Are we still building it up? Yeah, we are. Okay. Okay, well, I need to mentally internalize that that is uh, clearly not how it works anymore. Crap, I just gave up control of the siege, I think, by consolidating my army. Shoot. I'm going to go ahead and raise the liege fleet now, so that we have it ready to go. Also, in case anyone sieges any holdings down, I don't want to lose the, the ships. We might need them to pull this whole army back. We have the capacity right now to to move 116,700 troops at once. So, let's quickly end this war, grab all the armies together, and then go and smash some face. I don't feel like we're ready to do all that just yet. We've got 20,000 troops all together. There's eight here. The siege should fall fairly soon. Do I seriously have no siege advisors at all? No one that can help out with sieges? Hey, there is one right there. Samir! Duke! My Duke, come here. I need your help. Look at that siege pressure now. Very nice. You're going on the 29th. I could put my speed guy there. He's not that fast, but... Kind of helps a little bit. He's heading to Karor. Likely he is hostile to that army. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's right. You don't you don't go anywhere. You just sit right there while I march my armies around. All right, he's actually going for most of my holdings here, and he's got. Uh, yeah, he's coming over. Yeah, we're gonna have to end this war very, very quickly here. We actually have negative war score now. The ticking war score is gone because we don't control the kingdom of whatever we have, uh, kingdom of David. But we're close. We're close to being in a good position here. Um, being very aggressive right now by declaring this war. Okay, we've got reinforcements arriving on the 8th of July. Let's make sure we've got leaders. And annoyingly, he is trying to re reinforce some of these. He's trying to cross into Molten on the 19th. Let's not take quite as many men. We quickly win this fight. Doing very well there. And shoot, I was going to appoint some leaders, but uh, he actually did take the fight. Alright, that is 70 war score. We captured some dude, we're at 81%. He is not willing to surrender yet. But, look, all the occupations are gone, so apparently he's just pieced out his other enemy. And that means he's only at war with us, which is perfect, because that means that these provinces can just quickly be assaulted. And uh, we can end this war very quickly here. Um, this province here, I think, would be enough. Let's just march. And again, that's only 378 garrison versus 800. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to assault this one. Actually, this battle might also be pretty good. Ninety-nine war score, one more assault. Okay, thank you for the... Kind donation to the Jewish kingdom. Grab the army together. Let's go take care of this little silly jihad they've started against us. Don't they know better? We're Jewish. We're safe. We know how to fight. We're good in the bedroom. We know how to fight in the bedroom. Again, ever at, at, in the bedroom to everything. It makes it better. 16 holdings is too many. We are a king. We can hold duchy tier vassals. We can usurp the king, the emirate. That's a duchy. We want the duchy. Yes. We are going to very quickly grant this land to somebody. Men who are not in prison, who are any marriage, not a ruler. Okay. You know, adult. Yes. Do we want them to be married? I mean, they don't, it doesn't really matter. I don't really particularly want the land back, so yeah, it's fine.
Okay, that puts me well over my vassal limit. One of you is going to have to be the duke. Based on opinion, we're looking at uh, really any of them. Let's go with... Uh, this guy's already got some money. I don't know where he got it, but sure, you can be the Duke of Molten. You can have all the sub-vassals. That puts us at 20 out of 19. We need to get rid of one more. The Duchy of this place I can create. I have that holding there. Go ahead and create that Duchy. And uh, create one more vassal. And um, whoever has the most money, well, actually, we'll go with the guy we just granted it to, even though he has no money, because if he dies, I wouldn't mind inheriting the money that he gets. So you can now be the Duke of this place, which will put us back below the limit, and we're looking solid. So grab all these ships together, we've got 18,000, we're going to go, and that's actually too much, too many for the boats, we're going to have to raise our own personal boats a little bit, a little bit, and we're going to go pick up these ships, and we're going to go kill some people! Where are we down to here? All right, cool. We'll take a break here. Next episode, we're going to go win our jihad. And yeah, we'll see. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon.